and you guys are saying that this is this is you guys have been together better together yes. you guys are who you are we are and the relationship yeah. that you have and all so expand please on that uh we know each other since we're like 11 uh, he was 13 i was 11 and like that was always like my big brother and then we uh we started training together and he started training before me and then that's how the relationship developed and like all over the globe basically where did you guys grow up we grew up in, in Israel. We met each other in actually in Atlanta. Wow. In WrestleMania yeah. 27. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, just, just random. You guys were just at the random show? at the street. We heard uh, crossing the street. We just heard uh, Hebrew, like the, the language that we speak, yeah. uh, coming from the other side of the road. And we were like, hey, where are you guys from? And then we turned out to. to Oh, we, obviously, uh, when we started going to like our local indie shows and uh, the, what then proceeded to be the local wrestling school, it was just, we were just always there. We were the two people that you can probably find anywhere there would be wrestling over there, we would be, be there. there. So it was just from the get-go. Right, from your country, was there wrestling there? Uh, there was always a little, a, a, a little, little scene, bit very here small, and there. Like... And that's why I think when we have started seeing each other, it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, probably uh, whenever there is going to be wrestling here, we're probably going to, our paths are going to cross again. What was that WrestleMania like? 27? Yeah. It was awesome. It was great. I mean, <laughs> it was yeah, awesome. First time for me in the States. Or yeah, like, me too. Yeah, and I'm like, this is amazing. This is what I want to do. I want to be there. Yeah. I like the, all the, the fireworks and the performance and like, everything that amount of like 80,000 people in the crowd everyone is looking at one spot everyone is like coming in together for this specific reason I'm like this is cool we I, both I have in common something that I actually haven't really put much thought into but I think also one thing we had in common was our parents my mom his dad were so supportive of our obsession in yeah. wrestling as kids that those paths crossing when they both took us to WrestleMania in their own separate lives uh -huh was uh, was like a bonding thing because I think for me, I, I think I can speak for him too, going to WrestleMania, experiencing it live oh my God. is something that if not determined what I wanted to do when I grow up was at least a very, very big boost in my uh, belief of what I want to do. Especially like when you were this young and we don't have something like that back home, like just experiencing that or like, this is amazing. This is like because wrestling is real over here and like you can actually like see everyone. Get to these heights. Yes. If you, uh, it's possible. If you stick to it's, it's it really enough. Possible. Well from your homeland, what were the big sport or sports there? Uh, it's basically uh, soccer. Always yeah. soccer pretty much. Yeah. Was that something you guys played when you were young or no? No, I hated sports. Still do, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have any sports I like. I can watch certain things. Like if I go to a basketball game, I'll enjoy it. But but it never was your thing. It's only Sports wrestling. Never, for me. Just pro wrestling. I've always been pro wrestling. I played soccer when I was like in fourth grade, and because again, you can't wrestle when you're like eight years old. And I saw like the local indie show. I'm like, okay. And then the promoter told me, just wait a bit. And then I waited. You wanted to do it then? Yeah, yes, 100%. <laughs> and then I waited till I was like 13, and I joined the school. That's amazing. Yeah. And then here, when you were here, then you guys started training at Flatbacks. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with Sean Spears and Tyler Breeze. Yeah. How did you get in contact with them or just know about trying to do that? We, um, our, our initial plan, plan, we didn't really have any plan, but it was, uh, <laughs> we wanted to, to test our, uh, you test know, dip water. our fingers in the water, see our toes in the water, see what we really like measure when we, uh, you know, you take us out of our little bubble, mm. our scene back home, and we test ourselves in front of the, the, the big leagues. We went to WXW first in Germany. Um, that was 2019. I was 19. 20, yeah, 2019. Yeah, I was 18, 18 yeah. 17. And we flew there for, uh, we spent a month there. Yeah, here, I'm wearing it right now, WXW. Um, it's crazy how it's a full circle. We were there a couple of months ago again. Just yeah. To do some shows. So we went there and it was kind of like our, our testing grounds, kind of seeing what we're worth, if it's even worth our time trying to keep going on this stupid crazy journey <laughs> uh, but we ended up on our side at least having a really good time and feeling like we did stand out over there and it gave us the confidence to make you the the bigger leap and go to train at somewhere like flatbacks i think we had our friends 
back home who've had their experience training you with uh, Landstorm, uh, the 3D Academy, um, Jay Lethal. There's just a lot of options, but I think when we saw the news of Tyler Breeze and Sean Spears opening up a school, we both knew right away that's the place we want to go to. You have two people that went through the system of Tyler You have current NXT superstar back then, AEW and NXT. And you had those two people that made a living out of wrestling for so long and that are so talented in this field. We're like, we need to learn from the best. We need to be, if we want to become the best, we need to learn from the best. Mm -hmm. Basically. What was it like going back and working for WXW? Oh, it was awesome. Amazing. It was we cool. love it there. I love it there. Was it one of those moments, though, where you're like, you, at one point you look at each other and say, like, do you believe this? Do you believe yes. we're, we started here and now we're I back? Like, I remember, like, we have all the people, like, we met four or five years before that, and mm -hmm. now we're coming back, all, like, you know, bigger, much, like, more mature, like, knowing way more, and, like, it's just, like, a full circle moment of, like, Oh, we're actually here, yeah. and we are wrestling over here. We're not just training; we're having fun. We're like giving, like people are trusting us to wrestle over there. Yeah, it's our, our first time there was very much like uh, building off of what I said earlier. It was our first time out of our own little bubble, so we felt like fish out of water. It was very much like all these people around us are like actual professional wrestlers. <laughs> they are doing it for a living. They're traveling all around the world. They they get to be in NXT, NXT UK. UK. All these things, and we're just like these two skinny boys, just starting to, to grow the the courage to try to, to devil <laughs> to in wrestle. it. And now we came back, and it was after spending the time in the states and all the extra training that we've gained since then. It was a uh, surreal. It was surreal. It was amazing. Amazing. Experience. That is so cool. And um, a couple more questions. Wrap this Please. up. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to do this. Well, thank you for having us. You guys are, yeah. are just a team. You, people need to start watching if they haven't. I love that we have social media, the internet, all that yes, because it's, it gives a chance for a lot more yeah. wrestlers to be, to be noticed. Yeah. Exactly, yes. and oh which is a good God. thing. So, I just how do you guys feel representing your homeland? And how important is that for you to do something like that? Mm -hmm. Because like you said, pro wrestling really isn't something over there that you can do. Yeah. You had to come here and other places to do it. Yeah. So what is it like for you to, I was talking to Meadow earlier, the champion, yeah. the CCW yeah. champion from Bulgaria. Yes. And he's representing, I'm just curious for you guys what it means to you to do that. I think more on a personal level than any like other national or, or any, any direction of that nature it's more of uh we grew up not really believing that kids like us even have the chance because of the Everything. obviously the language barriers mm -hmm. just just the, the the simple fact of just living halfway across the world was one of those things that you go even if we really wanted to could have we really could we really even succeed in, in doing it just technically like yeah. not even wrestling wise and i think us getting to the point that we are right now it's not even as much to like our uh, our, our home country or representation but it's more of like we're actually here and making the dreams that we had as kids for anyone, for anyone. anywhere yeah it's just you can you no can, matter what country exactly. no, matter, no matter where you're from no where matter you are, if, if you actually want something and you want to chase it and you love something and you're willing to work for it at least give it a try because give everything's it. possible everything is possible in this world and last but not least, what are you guys looking forward to in the future? What are the future plans for Better Together? Uh, we have a lot of plans. A lot of plans for Better Together, you know. Uh, Just keep making rounds. Keep making our, uh, our, our name heard and seen. Yes. And uh, kind of let our work speak for itself. I know we both just, a lot of people are in this to... Uh, you know, kind of like check the box, get signed, and maybe just like say, oh, I'm good now. But we genuinely just want to be the absolute best. Like, we just want to keep going until we know we'll never get to the point where we actually want to get to. But by any means, we are going to. We want to leave a legacy. We're going we to jump on it with everything we got and try. Who does the great ring gear? Look at this. You oh, got to listen. <laughs> so, these are the pants of friendship. I made them. Not every night, but every other week or so, because I want to represent our beautiful friendship. You see, we have the hearts. We have the beautiful... This picture, for example, is from Germany. We were in Germany together at the, from 2019, and I took this picture, put it on the tights. It's, uh, 
It's a throughout your, uh, it's a welcome to your life, better together. <laughs> that is so great. Wow, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, you Jim. Thank you so much.